This is a Burmese python in the Florida Everglades and a few days ago it was captured and it had a six foot alligator inside it. The alligator weighed 40 pounds. Just look at this thing. It's 15 feet long and itself weighs over 100 pounds. So where did these snakes come from and how did they get here? Exotic pet trades, it's a multi-billion dollar business. And Miami is um, really ground zero in the United States for the import of exotic pets. Marty and Kim Penny have been breeding snakes for over 30 years. I mean, you see some of these snakes here for five, four, five thousand dollars $5,000. I've paid as much as $17,000 for one snake. Like, look at this. This is a $4,000 bull python here. $5,000. Unbelievable. Burmese pythons first came to Florida from Southeast Asia through the exotic pet trade in the 70s. People just assume, oh, it's warm, it's hot, it's humid, it can live outside, I don't want to take care of it anymore and just let it go. They really don't understand the implications that happen when these animals do actually survive and actually are able to breed and the impacts are just so severe. It's estimated that nearly 100,000 pythons were imported into the United States from the 90s to the early 2000s. Dr. Melissa Miller and Sam Smith are biologists from the University of Florida. They're using radio telemetry to keep track of the pythons by inserting tracking devices into their bodies and then letting them go. So we're just heading out to release a snake. We caught one the other day. The one that we caught was uh, 10 feet 2 inches long and weighed about 35 pounds. The one that we've got here to release in the back of the pickup truck is 15 feet long and about 110 pounds. This snake is uh, is pretty pretty feisty. This is one that we got from a contractor, and it had actually eaten a six foot alligator. That's that is this <laughs> this snake. Good. Now. Wow. Oh my goodness, that is unbelievable. Hello, beautiful. Oh, sweetheart, it's okay. It's okay. Ready? Struck oh, Lucy. Lucy, I've never seen, seen you move so quick. That's, that was amazing. 6,970. <laughs> wow. I got one. There's the snake. Wow. Oh, that's water. That's water. How you feeling, Lucy? A little scared, <laughs> not gonna lie. This here a gator. What? There's a, yeah, there's a gator growling at us. Hey. Back up. Yeah, he's pretty close. Really? Seems like it. Yeah. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a gator. Wow, so close. Normally they just what? bolt and because he kind of stood his ground and was bellowing at us it makes me feel like he's not in a rush to get out of here so we should probably get out of here okay yeah. let's do it it's taken millions of dollars and tons of people out here every day to solve what seems like a losing battle with the current control tools we have on hand and the interior of the everglades we're not doing anything you look out to the horizon yeah. and it's endless yeah. Everglades. Right. And we covered a few hundred yards. It's just insane to think about them all out there. Uh, so right now, I mean, eradication of pythons completely from Florida is is not feasible. But, but if you give up, then what? 